Now in this Teachable tutorial, I'm going to show you how to send emails from your Teachable account to your students. And that could be a possibility when you do not have an email marketing tool like ConvertKit, Aweber or MailChimp. I would highly recommend using these tools, but in some cases you may want to send emails directly from Teachable or maybe you are in process of setting up new accounts. So in the meanwhile, you can send emails from Teachable and this is how I'm going to show you. To send emails from Teachable, you have to first log into your Teachable school as an admin and on the left menu, you will find an option called emails. When you click on the emails, there are four options, compose, history, template, editor and settings. So if you want to send a custom email to a particular group of people, you can come on compose. In the compose, you will find the new email option. This is the email you can send to individual users or users who are enrolled in a specific course, or you can also send it to everyone. To send it, uh, click to and then select if you want to send it to one user or multiple users, you can use this option or you can send it to students from one course and, and or you can send it to all the users. For this example, I'm going, going to select course. So let's select the course. Let's say the course is our Instagram course and I want to send this to all the students who are enrolled in Instagram course. So you can start typing the name of your course. Select the course and then you can start typing the subject. The subject is let's say new training next week. Okay. You can start typing whatever you want. Hi, I just wanted to let you know that we'll be conducting a new training on next Tuesday. Whatever you want to type. Uh, thanks, regards, and your name or whatever signature you want to use. So you can add it here, whatever text you want. You can use some of the formatting features just like uh, you, you may be using in the lectures. So these are similar formatting features. What you can do is you can click on preview on top right and to see how this will look like. So this is how the email look like to your students when they open their mailbox. This is how it will look like. There's one more thing. If your students, they have opted out of receiving marketing emails, they are not going to get this email because as per GDPR compliance, Teachable, when a student signs up, it gives them an option to select a checkbox saying that yes i want to receive emails or no i don't want to receive instruction and marketing emails if they have selected no which means they have opted out of receiving these emails even if you send these emails to them they are not going to receive this because teachable already have received their confirmation that they don't want these emails so just keep that in mind so you can come here and then you can look at preview. If you need to make some changes, you can make some changes. Your from ID is your school ID and your support email ID is, is the one that you already specified. Okay. So if you want to take some changes to this, you have to go to settings and make those changes. You can also test by sending a test email. And this is, I would highly recommend as, uh, as we doing email marketing for a while now, I would suggest this is the one thing that I still do, even if, I have to send a small email i always send a test email to myself first and go through that email because uh, i've seen so many times if people don't take this extra measure and send a broadcast their emails and later on find out oh there was something you typed wrong some link was not right so i would highly suggest you use this option so you click on send test email it will show you which email id it will be sent to so by default, it will pick your school email ID and you can click on OK. If you click on OK, you will receive the email on your email ID. So I'm going to click OK. And once you are finalized and uh, the test email, you can just simply click on send email and the email will be sent out to all the students. At any time, you can come to history and then look at the history of all the past emails that you have sent out. You can see how many students it was sent to. You can also come and look here at uh, the subject of that email and performance of the email that you have sent out. In case you want to modify the template for some of these emails, you can come to template editor. In another video, I have already covered how to 
and make changes to the template editor so you can go and check it out so as you can see you can use teachable to send emails to your students when you do not have an email marketing tool i would highly recommend that you go and use one of the email marketing tools but in case you still want to use teachable that is also fine so hope you like this video and let me know in the comments if you have any questions and uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more teachable tips and tutorial thank you